You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about the NFL. Now, guys, the Rooney Rule is in place in the NFL. But once Brian Flores decided to sue the NFL for racial discrimination in their hiring practices, I knew it would only be a matter of time before the NFL actually end up, ended up expanding the Rooney Rule. And folks, that's exactly what they have done. They have expanded wokeness in hiring. I don't like this at all. I've been on the record that the Rooney Rule should go away. I believe that the best candidate should be hired. But now, guys, the NFL has really, really taken the Rooney Rule to a whole new level now, guys. Check this out over here on ESPN. NFL says all teams must add minority offensive coach. It spans Rooney Rule to include women. So, guys, now they're telling teams now that you will hire a offensive coach that is a minority. No ifs, ifs, ands or buts. And it's strictly because of skin color. That's all it is. However, guys, they are allowing women to actually take the place of a minority male, for example. This is ridiculous, folks. This will not work. I don't want a job because of my skin color, but the NFL has still not learned that. It says here all 32 NFL teams will hire a minority offensive assistant coach for the 2022 season. Part of a series of policy enhancements announced Monday to address the league's ongoing diversity efforts. The coach can be a female or a member of an ethnic or racial minority, according to the policy adopted by NFL owners during an annual meeting and will be paid from a league wide fund. The coach must work closely with the head coach and the offensive staff with the goals of increasing minority participation in the pool of offensive coaches that eventually produces the most sought after candidates for head coaching positions. Quote, it's a recognition that at the moment, when you look at stepping stones for head coach, they are the coordinator positions, said Steelers uh, owner Art Rooney II, the chairman of the NFL Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee. We clearly have a trend where coaches are coming from the offensive side of the ball in recent years. And we clearly do not have as many minorities in the offensive coordinator job. So that is the game plan there, folks. They're making all NFL teams now hire a minority for offensive coaching positions. Now, I don't like this. I don't like this. If I'm a black man, which I am a black man, and I interview for an offensive uh, coaching position, I want to get the job. Because I was the best candidate. But now you're pretty much going to have a white candidate that may be equally as qualified as me, maybe even more so. And that candidate is going to be out of the job. That's essentially what this is going to be. Unless the team, you know, makes up some new position or something like that. The NFL still doesn't get it. They're facing a lot of backlash from the woke mob out there. This is why they are doing this. And I don't think it's going to work. The Rooney rule didn't work. When you have racially based hiring practices, it is doomed to fail. I don't believe in affirmative, affirmative action or anything like that. I want the job because I was the best candidate. I don't want a job because, hey, we're going to hire you because you're black. I don't want that. I'm not down with that whatsoever. It goes on. It says some teams already have a coach or coaches and similar Assistant roles, which will count towards the program, NFL Chief Administrative Officer Dasha Smith said. But the requirement for all teams represents the first hiring mandate in the history of the Rooney Rule, named after Art Rooney's father and designed to elevate minority hiring at all levels of the league. There has been some progress in some areas, most notably with general managers and defensive coordinators. But there are only five minority head coaches in the league. Commissioner Roger Goodell said in fe February that the league fell short of its goals during the 2022 head coaching hiring cycle and pledged to redouble efforts this offseason. 
not liking this, guys. Why don't they actually have a quota to increase non-black football players in the NFL? But they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Why is the NFL roughly 65, 70 percent black? It's not because those players are black. It's just because they were the best athletes out there and they got drafted and signed to a contract. Why can't the same thing go for coaching general managers and things like that? Why not? This is doomed to fail. In addition to the offensive assistant coach mandate, the league also added women to the language of the Rooney rule at all levels. It will now read that women and or people of color. I hate that word can satisfy the requirement to interview two external minorities for top positions, including head coach. Women are not required to be interviewed, but they are now included in the fulfillment process. It is possible that a team could interview two white women for an open head coach position or to satisfy the Rooney rule and then make a hire without ever interviewing a person of color. But from a practical standpoint, Rooney said, that is unlikely. Now, honestly, I don't know how many women are actually going to get hired because I don't know how many women are out there uh, in the workforce looking for these positions. Anyway, there'll be some. I'm pretty sure there'll be some, but it won't be a whole lot um, if you ask me. But guys, what do you think of this? This is not good. This is not good. This is the Rooney rule now on steroids. Racial based hiring practices now and the NFL has now mandated that you will hire a minority. Every single NFL team, you will hire a minority. Now, one thing that I'm questioning now, they're talking about an ethnic minority. Now, what about a uh, white Jewish men? I'm curious about that. What will the NFL say if a team hires a white Jewish man? Are, are they considered an, an ethnic minority? I'm very curious about that. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, man, this is bad. And it's only going to get worse, guys. It's only going to get worse pretty soon. There's 32 NFL teams. And I foresee this probably in the next um, five years, I would say. It's going to get to the point, guys, where. The NFL will probably end up mandating that half of the NFL head coaches are blacks or other minorities. I can guarantee you that, folks. It's coming. It's coming based on what they're doing with this. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.